Hi, I'm Sarah Hoyt, Senior Material Scientist here at Material Connection. Welcome to our What is A? video series, a series of educational videos about the thousands of materials we have here in our library and how we categorize them to best meet our members' needs. As you look through our flagship location in New York City, you'll notice each aisle of materials is labeled with a color-coded category. Here at Material Connection, we don't categorize our materials by intended use, but instead by chemical makeup. This ensures that we honor the cross-industry knowledge and perspective that sets us apart. I'm going to walk you through which of our materials we categorize as a polymer. For the sake of categorization and our diverse clientele, we simplify the definition of a polymer to include long-chain carbon-based molecules that are synthetic, moldable, and colorable. Polymers come in many types and forms, but it's their molecular structure, which is often described as spaghetti-like, which defines them and their properties. Before being used as a product or even as a constituent material, polymers are often supplied as pellets, which are melted down and then molded or formed into their final shape. Polymers in our library range from things like this polycarbonate honeycomb, which uses a repeating cell structure to withstand pressures over 500 PSI, to things like this 3D printing filament. It's got optical clarity, which allows for new visual effects and testing. For more information about polymers or any of the other materials in our library, visit materialconnection.com.